Hello, my name is John. I'm going to show you how to merge meshes together inside of Unreal Engine. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more videos. And don't forget to check out my website, 3dassetlibrary.com, for Unreal and Unity Engine assets. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to grab two separate meshes, um, put them in the scene, and then merge them together. What this will do is this will look at the textures, and providing that you've got the same um, names for the texture. So, for instance, uh, in this in this uh, mesh here, we've got one named Brick, and in this mesh here, we've got one named Brick. They're identical naming. What it'll do is then combine the textures to, uh, together, which I think in some versions of Unreal, it helps with draw calls and things like that. So I thought I'd help you uh, show you how this can be helpful um, in creating, obviously, more unique meshes, because it's better, if you can, to use one, one mesh rather than, you know, here you could have essentially four mesh, separate meshes in just a building alone here. So what you can do is we will drag our um, uh, one of our meshes here, and we're just going to make sure everything is zeroed out in the location. And then we're going to grab another mesh here and do exactly the same. And um, then what I'm going to do is just position this. So obviously, this depends on how you, you've... Uh, uh, created your your uh, scene and meshes, but you need to make sure that it's from, from what I understand that it's zeroed out, so that when you position it in the scene, that it's always at you know uh, wherever your um, uh, transform tool is. So then what we'll do is we'll select our two meshes, and just by holding Shift and click, right click, and we want merge actors. Now you'll get this window pop up here. You want to make sure that point uh, pivot point at zero is ticked, and um, none of these I've had to uh, mess about with. So in theory, that should be all okay. Then we go merge actors. It'll say where do you want to put it, so and, and uh, give it a name. So we'll just leave it there for the minute. And what that's going to do is just convert uh, merge them all. So what we've got here is now our merged mesh with our. Materials by, combined together, you can see here, they're all combined together, and you've now got one mesh that we can see here. See here, we've still got our original one, so if we delete that, um, we've got two separate pieces. Now if we drag this in, we've got one piece here. Um, as I say, this, this is helpful for creating um, more uh, unique meshes like I've I've done here. So uh, I found that when I was creating this, that I'd had these all separate inside a prefab, and um, it didn't. It was causing lots of draw calls and things like that. So I had to re rethink about how I did it, and um, so I used the converting to a mesh. You can also um, uh, sorry merging actors. You can also do the same thing with prefabs. You can say grab a prefab here, and um, you know uh, we'll go down to one here. It's not so intensive. Drag that in. Again, exactly the same principle. Zero out and you'll see here that when I go to merge uh, actors we got loads uh, the meshes here that are going to be combined and it's exactly the same principle you merge the actors give it a name and it's going to go through here obviously depending on how much uh, geometry you've got in here it might take a while and then we'll just get rid of that drag that in and then in theory when we open that up obviously it's got more textures here um, but you can see here it's, it's merged everything together into one giant mesh and yeah so hopefully that's helped if it has please do like and subscribe